I'm going to go over how to solve the 2010 AP Environmental Science free response question. Take a moment to read the prompt, pause the video, and then unpause when you're ready to go. Letter A. Respond to the following using the data in the table above, which gives the rate of wood consumption by termites in milligrams per day per termite under various temperature and relative humidity. Under optimal conditions, the emission rate of methane by termites is approximately 70 kilograms of methane per year per thousand termites. AI, according to the data, what are the optimal temperature and relative humidity for termite activity? This question is not really math, it's more about reading a chart. And so go ahead and take a look at the chart up here. Which box has the highest rate of consumption? So look for the biggest number. The largest number is 0.27. And so now let's go ahead and look at the temperature and the humidity. And that's our answer here. So the answer is 30 degrees Celsius and 90% relative humidity. Make sure you put it in a complete sentence. Optimal conditions are, all right, A2, given a density of 4.5 times 10 to the 7th termite per hectare and optimal conditions, calculate the annual amount of methane emitted in kilograms by the termites inhabiting a 2,000 hectare tropical rainforest. Hectare is metric for acre. Make sure you know that. Sometimes the word hectare confuses students if they don't know that it's a metric system for area or acreage. So let's start with that number, 2,000 hectares. Sometimes it's abbreviated as HA. And one of the givens that we have is that there's this many termites per hectare, all right? So we're going to use this number. All right, so what else do we need? We want the annual amount of methane. All right, so where does it tell us our methane? It looks like it tells us our methane right here, 70 kilograms of methane per 1,000 termites. So how did I get this problem? How did I start this problem? Well, first I just started by writing down some of the givens. And then when you set it up horizontally and you kind of can see what can cancel, it's a lot easier to solve. You also want to figure out what are they asking you? They want this. This is the answer. They want methane emitted. So your answer should come out as methane emitted. So when I set up this problem, I've got to get to the end where everything cancels except for methane. So I also need to multiply by this next given. And it tells us the top that 70 grams of sorry, kilograms of methane, which is CH4, per year, per a thousand termites. So let's go through and cancel some things. So hectares cancel, termites, I abbreviated that T-E-R, termites cancel, and what am I left with? I'm left with, oh great, I'm left with methane per year, which is what I want. So I know I've set this up correctly. So now I'm just going to multiply 2,000 times 4.5. So I can almost do this in my head. If you can't do it in your head, you can just do it off to the side. 
But the answer to that is 9,000. So 9,000 times 10 to the 7, and then I need to multiply that by 70. 1, 2, 3, 63, 0, 1, 2, I think I did this incorrectly, so let me back up. So here's my zero, and I'm going to add one, two, three, sixty-three. So here I have sixty-three, six hundred thirty thousand. Except I need to also divide by a thousand. So three zeros here and three zeros here cancel out. And I'm going to end up with 630 times 10 to the 7th. CH4, if this is kilograms of CH4 per year. Um, now, this is a correct answer, and if you leave it like that, yes, you can still get credit. But to put it in proper scientific notation, the proper scientific notation is one digit, then the decimal point, kilograms CH4 per year. One of the things I want you to be careful is that, do you see up here, I almost forgot kilograms? You won't get points if you forget that. So just double sure that you're putting the units in correctly. And always, always, always include units. Let's go on to the next one. So C3, suppose the temperature increased to 35 degrees Celsius and the relative humidity decreased to 50%. Using the data provided, determine the amount of methane in kilograms that would be emitted by the termites in the 2,000 hectare tropical rainforest. So this one is a little bit harder. I think this is a pretty hard question. So if we go back to our chart, <clears throat> so go back to your original chart <clears throat> and take a look at what the table says about when you increase it to 35 and the humidity decreases to 50 percent. What is the consumption rate? So it tells us in the chart that the consumption rate is 0.09. So we're going to set this up as a proportion because at 0.27 we know that the consumption is 6.3 times 10 to the 9th kilograms of methane per year. And so if we just set up this proportion that when we decrease it from 0.27 to 0.09, we're going to set it up as a ratio. And this is the easiest way to do it, but sometimes it's a little bit hard to figure out how you would do that. And so this is the way that you would do that. Let's talk for a second about this number. You had to use the answer from C2 into C3. And let's say you got the answer wrong for C2. If you put a wrong answer here, but you solve the math correctly, then you can get points for this question. You would not get points for the answer in C2, but if you use that wrong answer correctly and you did the math correctly in C3, you would get points for three. So we say that is no double jeopardy. So that's rather nice. So the best way to solve this is to um, look at 0.09 divided by 0.27. And if you remember from math, if you take each of those and divide it by a number, each the numerator and the denominator, then you can, uh, you can do that. So if we take both of these, 0.09, and we divide it by 0.09, and take 0.27 divided by 0.09, then you end up with 1 over 3. Again, 
So I take 0 0.09 divided by 0 0.09, and I get 1. And I take 0.27 divided by 0 0.09, and I get 3. So I've just reduced both to make it an easier number. And that is a math practice that you learned probably several years ago. And now I multiply this by this number. And so basically we're just taking 6.3 divided by 3. You may be able to do that in your head. If you're not able to do that in your head, it's okay. Go ahead and do it off to the side. That's fine. And so our answer is 2.1 times 10 to the 9th. Don't forget your units. Always, always, always have your units or you don't get points. And so this math ended up being an easy math as long as you realized you can reduce that to a third. Um, if you didn't realize you can reduce it to a third, that's okay. You could do the math all the way through and still come up with the right answer. But remember, on the AP test, they often put nice, easy numbers to do without a calculator. And so look for ways that you can reduce it in um, what you've done in previous math classes. And that's the answer for this FRQ.